So in Primavera P6, we can also able to add other resources. For that, we can just go for Enterprise and then Resources. So once you go inside, we can able to display all resources over here. And even you can go for a chart view. So these things, it is similar to the WBS and then uh, OBS. We, we already seen all these things, how to do. So if you want, you can refer those. And I'm just going back to the normal view. So here, if you want to add resources, first I'm just uh, okay. Here you also have one plus icon. You can click that to add a new resource. So immediately the resource, new resource wizard, it will come. You can put some resource ID. And then the resource name. So if you don't want to show this wizard again, you can put don't show. And then to enable the resource wizard in the future, select user preference under edit menu on the assistance tab. Click on the use new resource wizard checkbox. You can click OK and I'm just going to put next. And here you can able to select labor, non-labor or material. We have three options. Like labor means people, non-labor means machinery and equipments and material in the sense we have supplies. And if it is material, you can get, uh, you can able to input units of measure. So here how much it is like that. For example, I'm just putting each. And even here, don't show this wizard again. I'm just going for next. And price per unit, it is asking. I'm just going to put 100. So default units per time. So these things we can able to change later also. I'm just going to put uh, as it is. And if you have any office phone or email address, you can able to input here. And even you can able to like choose existing calendar or a new personal calendar for this resource. It is like existing calendar you can continue with. Otherwise, you can able to create a new personal calendar for this resource. I'm just going to continue with existing calendar. I'm just going to put next. And then the calendar name here you can able to select. And I'm just going to view or edit. There you can able to edit as well. I'm just going to next. Auto compute the actuals for this resource. Otherwise, you can go for don't auto compute actuals. So here in Primavera P6 Professional 18 will automatically update the actual units for this resource if you select this option. Like when auto compute is selected, the actual units are updated, assuming that work is proceeding according to plan. The actual units are based on the percent complete of the activity. So this can be a significant time saver in gathering actuals of your project. So if you want to like uh, have the uh, exact value like uh, like total cost of our project, then you can go for auto compute. So it will automatically compute the cost and it will show you the result directly. And I'm just going for auto compute actuals and then I'm just going for next. Congratulations, you have just added a new resource. Click finish button to return to the resource. So we have added the resource here and you can just make this uh, move left and it became the separate resource. Uh, here the resource ID, these things we can able to change now from uh, detail window or also here for example a1 and i'm just going for cement and i'm just going for material and then here we can just go for each cement bags you know like uh, for that if you want to modify any value you can just go in details and currency you can able to choose And uh, so units and prices here you can able to put uh, the standard rate for example if it is like a 350 per bag you can able to put 350 and the maximum units per time so maximum 22 uh, bags per day means 22 each per day you can able to mention so based on this, the resource leveling will happen. Uh, now I am just going to create another below it. And here I am just going to put A2. But uh, I am just going to put person. So in this case, it is like labor. So, so the icon changed to labor now.
now I'm just going to input some employee ID and title like Mason uh, email address office phone and codes uh, if you have any code you can assign here otherwise details you can go for and if anything overtime allowed you need to check it if this person can work for overtime you need to check it and then overtime factor it is like a sometimes it is like a 1.2 or 1.5 like that you can put the overtime factor here and then i am just going for selecting the calendar for this guy you can go for six days calendar so nine hours per day and then units per prices so standard rate per hour so i am just going to put 100 per hour it is an indian rupee so i am putting 100 per hour and the same the maximum units nine hours per day so you can able to work only nine hours per day so again i'm just going for new you can use the arrow so here i'm just going to put a3 and i'm just going to uh, select non-labor and i'm just going to put machinery so machinery is non-labor so for that I am just see now it becomes uh, this kind of icon so which, which means it is like non-labor so for non-labor also sometimes over time we can able to put our uh, units and prices uh, the calendar you can choose from here so non-labor we can go for 7 plus 24 calendar units and prices and I am just going to put standard rate some uh, 150 per hour like that if some missionary we need to pay 150 rupees per hour you can able to use it and even the calendar also you can able to change from here if you want and uh, roles if you have you can able to assign but normally roles uh, we can able to go for labor so this labor if you want to assign some role you can able to assign so he is an electrical engineer or mechanical engineer or uh, some other uh, uh, thing you can able to input so like this we can able to add our resources like material resources labor resources and non-labor resources we can able to like uh, create in our primavera and based on it we can able to assign to our project activities and uh, finally we will be getting like total cost of the project which includes material cost labor cost non-labor cost and also the additional expenses that we can able to uh, input in our primavera so totally as a whole for the project how much it costs we can able to find through this primavera so like this you can able to like uh, create a parent for example so cement below cement you can also add some other materials like that uh, this kind of uh, chronology is there it is similar to the wps that we have created before so like this you can able to have one set of resources so you can able to use this to see this minus icon so it will display all the resources under the selected one